just going live. Talk dirty for a few minutes. I'll be back. Just talk. I'm keep it kind of clean. I'm keep it kind of clean. Peace to the family. Let me just give y'all the rundown. You know how we do. talk to you the inspiration for the day the inspiration for the day you know my motto too smart to be broke my oh, man gay got this little chip for my daughter <laughs> she's sitting on it too back straight and all you that got the courses you gonna get the pdfs tonight i got a new platform that i'm using because i got a new platform that i'm using and it should make for better quality for the classes so hold tight but i want you guys to study the pdfs first for those of you that's in the entrepreneur class where i teach you about three different streams of income You'll make one to three thousand a month to month basis. It's really for parents and children. Parents and children can definitely vibe off of it and make their money off of it, but you don't have to be a parent or a child. Of course, that's two hundred and fifty dollars that you have to pay. Then the master course. I need you to study the PDF for that, people. You're gonna get that today. You're gonna have that this evening, the master course. You're gonna love it. Okay? You're gonna love it. And I want you to study it in preparation for the video. I'm getting a few things right with this new platform, but the video is going to be off the chain. And I think this platform that I'm using is going to be real good. So we're going to get off the private YouTube link and we're going to start working with this other joint. And then I'm also working on loading the previous classes, edited version, to the new platform we're also using. So you can get all your master courses, all your, your master course and your entrepreneur course off in the same venue. Okay, so... Again, if you want, the, which of course the master course deals with. Let me let me get let me get to it. The master course deals with you getting thirty three PDFs of the templates and affidavits to, which are templates to letters and affidavits that will be sent to credit bureaus and financial institutions alike for the purposes of removing negative items off the report. Adding positive items to the report, boosting your credit score, and seeing to it that you get approved for larger lines of credit, whether it be for credit cards, personal loans, or business loans. And the entrepreneur course, of course, teaches you three different streams of income. You'll make one to three thousand on a month to month basis. Additional, it varies. It depends on the person, disposition, your jurisdiction. You figure it out. And of course, that's two hundred and fifty dollars as well. It's both discounted rates. It's supposed to be more than that. But you know the name of the game. The name of the game is. The name of the game is. I'm too smart to be broke. And that's what you need to say to yourself. You need to say to yourself. You're too smart to be broke. That's what you need to say. You're too smart to be broke. That's the attitude I want to hear. That is the attitude that I want to hear. Too smart to be broke. And it costs too much money to be poor. 
It costs too much money to be poor. Just because he sells you his information doesn't mean it's going to turn you into anything. Well, I'll tell you this. Let's let's respond to that comment. And that person could have meant that in just full honesty and no negativity. But let me tell you this. When you use the information I disseminate, your life is going to change. I can guarantee you that. And I told you, I'm for 2020, I'm doing guarantees, but I'm also raising the price. Actually, these courses are not supposed to be. I'm not even supposed to be doing the courses technically no more. But if you want the microwave where you get more amenities and things done in real time, then I told you already, I'm charging 3K upwards. That's how it is. And there's nothing wrong about that. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you got people out here owing $70,000, $50,000, $100,000 in the name of student loan, hospital bills, flawed mortgage endeavors, uh, car notes. Mm -hmm. You got all sorts of chaos taking place with people. Oh, thank you for taking those notes. That's what's up. Definitely take those notes. So, you know, I just sit here. And I read a lot of people's posts about 2019 and the hell they've been through. And it, and it hurts. You know, I'm, I'm. it's unfortunate that people went through a bad 2019. I really don't have nothing to complain about. You know, I only went through one scare. And that was with my, my daughter. And that ended with a happy ending. And outside that, my 2019 was amazing. You know, and we need to be able to reflect on years from one year to the next. Set some serious goals and put plans into action. And that's why a lot of times I give you guys free advice in real time. Because I want you to be able to do something. The second you start doing anything, you, you magnetize yourself to person, places, and things. Once you start doing the right thing in real time, once you start... Doing things towards your goals, working towards your goals in real time, you magnetize yourself to persons, places, and things that correspond with the same. I had an amazing 2019. And my 2020, when it's all about becoming a master of your own destiny. And that's why even with the holistic mathematics course, which will probably be one of the last courses there are, that's taking place on the 14th. Those of you who have the other courses, look at your PDFs tonight, study it, review it. You'll have those PDFs tonight. And we're going to start streaming privately the classes on a new platform. I got all the old classes being uploaded to this new platform that I'm going to be using. It's off the chain. <laughs> oh, the reason why people say that they're waiting is because... My course is not a one-day course. My course is several days at a time. The entrepreneur course is a one-day course, but I'm working on streaming with the best quality, so I'm using this new platform. You guys are going to see it. You'll get the PDFs today, but you'll see it. But I tell you this, anybody that got my course, anybody that got the master course, let's talk about that. If you got the master course, you can't front about the 33 PDFs or the PowerPoint version to the PDFs that go along with the other classes. You can't front about those templates. Oh, no, nah, I'm not worried about nothing negative, but I just want to build with people. Thank you. I am royal origin. <laughs> it's a fact. Changing lives. In the last two classes is a wear me. You need a, you need a testimonial? Go to... The Breakfast Club with Metal World Peace and see that millionaire showing me love. You need more testimonials, go on, go to my Instagram and look at the different millionaires and billionaires that accredit me as far as investing is concerned. That's it. It's, it's not hard to find. You see, because when I used to put up testimonials, people was like, that person's reading. And guess what? Some of them was because they're just not used to speaking and they was nervous and they wanted to make sure they collect mm -hmm. their thoughts and say what they say in a short period of time. And then that turned into, yo, because if I make sure people that give me testimonials do it right, then I would have to start coaching people and then that wouldn't be authentic. You make them do it authentically and then people say, man, they don't, they're reading something or, you know, oh, look how they... They just thinking about what to say next. Yes, because they're not used to speaking. I'm the speaker. You're expecting people to speak like I speak. 
to give their testimony. So I trashed that. I went on a little run doing it and I was like, I don't like it because people are so negative. Listen, listen, if I tell you, hey, you got something going on with your credit and it's looking bad, call them and freeze and say you got reason to believe that uh, your credit may be under fraud and you're just doing some surveillance right now to check it and you get it frozen. That was great advice. You know why? Because it buys you time so you don't have to be impacted by negative reports. And at the very most, it'll cost you $10. Second, at least $5. Hopefully nothing. And you go, tra and each one, TransUnion, Spare, and Equifax. And you say, yo, freeze the report. See, simple stuff like that. I hip you too. Simple stuff. Simple stuff. Or going to Varnish.com and getting you a wireless landline. Varnish.com, a wireless landline. So you make sure your new mailing address, your wireless landline, or you even get a, look, one of those blackout or blowout phones, they call it, from the drugstore. Because phone lines and addresses normally trace you back to so much history. So you set up a new email, new phone line, and new mailing address in a highly reputable school district, low crime rate, where the median income is over $150,000 a year. All right, and you use UPS for that. Real talk. Real talk. Stuff is simple. <laughs> when you really think about it, it's very simple. So it costs too much money to be poor. That's the vibe that I'm on for 2020. It costs way too much money to be poor. You know, if you ever had a uh, black card, you know anything about black cards. It's a whole world. The cards come with big books. The cards come with big books. You get whole books for a credit card, huh? Very wild. But what you have to realize is that it costs it costs a lot of money to be poor. And like for instance, when you have a black card, all these amenities are given to you. Flights are cheaper. Skip through different lines. Buy electronics for cheaper. Select stores. Your groceries become cheaper. Uh, your reward system for things are cheaper. The APR rate on the credit card is little to none, or you don't have to pay no interest for the first six months, first year, first two years, depending on the scenario. You buy the cars for cheaper, maybe 5% off. In some instances, 10% off, depending on what kind of car you purchase it. But here it is, the poor people who need the brakes, get the brakes beat off of them because things cost so much money for them. <laughs> mm -hmm. It costs too much money to be poor. Your interest rates are a lot higher. Your insurance is almost impossible. It costs too much money to be poor. So the goal is to get you in the wealth community. So once you get into the wealthy community, then life becomes easier. Yeah, your expenses are your expenses are lesser in retrospect to your income. So first, you have to get to the point of wealth, and then things become cheaper. It's very interesting. It costs too much money to be poor. I promise you that. It costs way too much money to be poor. Facts. Yeah, living in a community, living in a poor community costs you more money. Because if you want to get a house or you want to get an apartment, they expect you to pay more money because you're poor. When you're making more money, they don't mind you paying less money because you're wealthy. It costs too much money to be poor. And that's why I do those courses. That's why the courses are designed for 2020. That's what I told you. After this, you know, and the courses is good. It's going to help you get where you got to go. But if you want to microwave your situation, like I told you, 3K, I give you $1,000 back if I don't accomplish what I say I'm accomplishing inside of a month and a half. That's what I'm doing. The reason why I got to do it that way because I don't really have the time to be behind schedule committing to y'all because I'll be doing things. And then it throws you off because you sitting here waiting to make something happen, and then I'm off schedule, and I'm off beat. So I got to make sure I'm making sense when I do what I do. Yeah, it costs too much money to be poor. 
way more perks being wealthy. So the goal is, yo, if I could just get wealthy, then I won't have to deal with the stress and the expenses of the poor man. It's easier to be wealthy and it's harder to get out of poverty. If there's about 237 million people that live in America and only 5% of them have wealth or make over $150,000 a year. We're looking at in around 16,350,000 people out of 237 million or whatever the number is at major at most. And so over 200 million people, over 200 million people are not making $150,000 a year. They have, they make less. And we know poverty begins for a family of four at $32,000 a year and for an individual at $15,000 a year. And wealth begins past one hundred fifty grand, one hundred fifty grand upwards. So it's over $100,000 gray area. We also know from pre-K to 12th grade, from pre-K to 12th grade, that's 14 years of school. And in those 14 years of school, you don't learn about real estate, food, clothing, and shelter. Maybe made a pizza and home egg. That's it. All right. Uh, eggs, milk, and cheese. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> Nowhere on the food pyramid do they show you sun. Vitamin D3 can only be produced from sun exposure. Everything else on the planet has it. If you can find a source of vitamin D3 outside of you getting sun exposure, it's very minimal. So minimal, you just got to get sun because it's only produced from sunlight. Why wasn't the sun put in the food pyramid? Why is the sun not at the top? Like, you know, when you look at the dollar bill, even the dollar bill got a sun at the top of the pyramid. It got some light at the top of the pyramid. Why didn't they give us an all CNI or some kind of sun on top of the food pyramid? Because we only can produce vitamin D3 from sun exposure. If you don't get vitamin D3, you suffer from depression. You suffer from anxiety. You suffer from mood swings. The symptoms that make you look like you have ADD or ADHD or a mental health issue. And then they send you to the therapist, which is the rapist. It's spelled the same exact way. How can I talk you out of having mood swings, anxiety, or stress if it comes about from lacking in a certain vitamin or minerals? If you're lacking in certain vitamins and minerals, or your microbiome is compromised because you don't have enough probiotics in your body or the prebiotics that's necessary to keep the probiotics alive. So when your emotional and mental constitution is compromised and someone says, pay me so I can sit down and talk to you so you can feel better mentally, how can you address mental health through conversation without the prerequisite being holistic health? I say this again. If you're consuming, if your inability to consume or be able to absorb the proper nutrients, because in some instances, like you may need vitamin A, but you're not properly assimilating it or synthesizing it because you don't have carotene, which helps you synthesize it. You may not be able to utilize the iron that's in your, <coughs> you may not be able to utilize the iron that's in your blood. I need to get some water or something to drink. You may not be able to utilize the iron that's in your blood on account of the fact that you don't have enough B12 in your body. And B12 is used to help you absorb, synthesize, process the iron that's in your blood. Okay? And D3, if you don't got enough vitamin D in your body, D2 made from plants and D3, D3 made from animals, you being an animal, you produce it from sun exposure. Then it'll be hard for you to absorb a lot of the electrolytes, right? Like calcium, potassium, magnesium. Real talk. So what does it all mean? What does it have to do with anything? The price you pay for ignorance is the price you pay for ignorance is poverty. Real talk. The price you pay for being ignorant is poverty. Real talk.
didn't see that. Literally, you didn't see it. <laughs> and so, let's talk. Let's talk about it. So, there's a couple things we got to cover. Why was I breaking down all of that information in the first place? Hmm? I'll tell you why. The reason why I was breaking down all that information in the first place is because you have to get the prerequisite thing done first before you can start looking to problem solve. Okay? We think getting the cash is the prerequisite. So just like with the vitamins and the minerals, in order for you to fully be able to use one thing, you need something else as a catalyst. Okay? So... Cash is king, credit is queen. Cash will get you from point A to point B, from point B to point C, point C to point D, back from point D to back to point C. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? That's what cash does, one step at a time. However, when you look at the queen on the chessboard, the queen is able to do what? She's able to bust moves. From A through D, she could electric slide all the way to D. So the king can, can move incrementally from point A to point B, which we value. He can do every move just one step at a time. The queen can do every move several steps at a time. So that's why the analogy cash is king, credit is queen. That's where that comes about. Okay? And so if you really want to make moves... And take things to the next level. You're not going to really be able to stack cash in the amount that will change your life. You're going to need insurance monies. And you see me, I, you know, I, I got I got a name for insurance in retrospect to cash being king and credit being queen. But we're, we're going to take that elsewhere. No, OK, we're going to take that elsewhere. That's going to be another conversation. So you're looking at cash, credit, and insurance. But insurance and credit are the most viable things that you can use to amass opportunities to become wealthy. Not cash. Cash comes in the advent of you being the benefactor of having employed the sciences, the economic sciences that are Amassing wealth from insurance and credit. That's what that's about. Okay? And if we're talking about an investment vehicle, you're definitely talking about trust because of trust. America has over 200 trusts and they don't hold nothing and no other type of corporations and they give you all the other types of corps. But everything else they do is held in trust relatively. Social security, trust, roads, highways, trust. Everything that America is building up is trust, 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 trust. Facts. If you have an LLC, you make it work with the trust by doing a UCC1 financing statement. If you have to make any changes, you do it through a UCC3. If you're going to uh, deal with the stipulations thereof as it relates to the debtor and the creditor, though that's established in the UCC1, you must not have a UCC1 without the prerequisite being the security agreement, which is the UCC1 is the abbreviated version to the security agreement. So the preface of a UCC-1 is a security agreement. The abbreviated version of the same is the UCC-1. Uh, that qualifies UCC-9-105 in parentheses D, which is a debt that can only conditionally own property because we're dealing, well, dealing with debt in particular. That's in UCC-9. So I'm just dealing, just answering a question from somebody. Okay, now we go back to what we're talking about. Somebody had a question about the LLC. Who was that that asked that question? Should a college student get a credit card? Uh, everyone should have a credit card. Now, should you get a student loan? I say, no. Don't get a student loan unless you could afford it. Okay? Amass enough wealth or electronic monies and pay for your school that way. But don't Go to school and pay for that which you can't afford under the pretense that one day you'll be able to afford it. 
if you're going to school for graphic and design and business administration, hell no. It's not worth owing fifty, eighty thousand dollars that you'll never see at the same time, probably the rest of your life, unless you get lawsuit money or some shit. We gotta be for real. You're just doing it wrong. I dropped out of school tenth grade and I make more money than all my teachers that I ever had. <laughs> you know, it's just a fact. What my school teacher makes in a year, the average school teacher makes in a year can't compare. You know, and I dropped out of school 10th grade. That's one of the best things that ever happened to me in my life, aside from the fact I wanted to play basketball. And I went through a stint when I, when I was boxing, and I really wanted to do that. But I was blessed that I dropped out of school. Shit. Now, if I was raised by parents such as myself, I would have loved to go through the school process so I could be a brain surgeon or some kind of neuroscientist, astrophysicist. You know, I'm, I'm interested in that. I'm actually, I'm planning to go back to school in a couple of years. I want to just do it I, just for fun. I just want to do it. I love that. I love that kind of information. I really want to do that. So no, college students, I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise people to take out student loans. It's a trap. How do I feel about smoking weed? Yeah, you go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. You need your full name, your phone number. If you want consulting, consulting is $200 an hour, $300 an hour over the phone. The courses are $250. Whether it's the economic course where you get three streams of income, make you about one to $3,000 on a month to month basis. It's designed for parents and it's designed for children. Okay. state license stuff is tricky too man I, what i say is this if you can get credentials in something and it doesn't put you in a whole lot of debt throw the credentials under your belt if it's not too time consuming it doesn't take you away from other real responsibilities then get it i'm never against being credentialed but you can bring buyer and seller together and make more money you have the right to bring buyer and seller together through consulting that's perfectly legal you don't need a license for that you can definitely operate off of OPM or other people's money. You could go around and you could say, you could find somebody that's into real estate and you can ask them, can you solicit the properties that they have for sale on assignment? And you can sell their properties without having to purchase them and get a percentage back. Just don't collect no percentages until the whole deal is done and don't promise no percentages to anybody else. You know, you leave that, you get you a real estate attorney and they'll, they'll create you get one in your jurisdiction, a real estate attorney, and have them responsible for the contract where each property be held on assignment. And he may charge you per each property for each stipulation in the contract. Let's have that conversation on Facebook, shall we? Let's go to facebook.com forward slash brother P-O-L-I-J-H-T. And let's really cook it up. Again, if you want consulting, you go. Tell me, I just need like 30, 40 more minutes, and I'll be ready for the gun range. You, you're what you said, right? So just t make sure she knows. Yeah, 30, 45 minutes, and we out of here, all right? You heard, baby? In 30, 45 minutes, I'll be ready for the gun range, all right? Master course deals with 
learning how to make money over real estate, tax lien, tax deed, insurance, and credit restoration being our main point of focus. You'll get 33 PDFs that are templates and letters and affidavits that will be sent to credit bureaus and financial institutions alike for the purposes of removing negative items off your report, adding positive items to your report, boosting your credit score, and seeing to it that you get approved for large lines of credit, whether it be your credit cards, personal loans, business loans. Just getting it out the way. The entrepreneur course, you'll learn about three different streams of income. You'll make about one to three thousand dollars. It was designed for parents and children, so even your children can make money off of those streams of income. Those of you that are in the course, you're going to get the PDFs today. Study the PDFs on the weekend. We have a new streaming platform. We're going to have the previous classes and the new classes available to those people, particularly the master course, because that's six classes at one. So when you go to our new streaming platform, you're going to see all those different classes available to you. That's on the new streaming platform. So that way you can access it. You ain't got to look at your email and click the previous links. We're going to do a whole lot more better with the presentation. Uh, don't ask me about what I think about other people doing things. I, I don't want to gossip. And I, don't, I also don't watch nobody. I haven't watched people do things in quite some time to even be able to have an opinion about it. So I don't mean that negatively. I'm just saying I'm not even the best person to ask. What, I, what you think about this brother that's teaching this down in dirt? I be reading and studying so much and then ascertaining to things pertaining. Dealing with my family, reading and studying so much. And then uh, my high-end clients be having me travel all over the place. So it's been kind of hectic in the, good, in the best way. But yeah, it costs too much money to be poor people. So you go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com if you want consulting, 200 an hour, 300 a person. I'll send you some questions so I can be debriefed on your specific interests and needs. And in doing so, in doing so, what will happen is, in doing so, is you, my friends, will be able to optimize your experience because now we won't have to cut into your time going over some of the mundane clauses because I would already know or have knowledge of your vision. I'd already made an assessment about it and in my evaluation, I would have calculated what needs to be done. Smoking up weed. You guys just ask me random things. It costs too much money to be poor. I don't think people in a lower tax bracket should do any drugs. If you're not satisfied with your economic state of condition, I hear people all the time. The weed makes me focus. The weed, you know, makes me think better. And I'm more fluent and expansive. Well, I say words like that, but I, you know, I get creative when I smoke the weed. So. Since you're so damn creative when you smoke the weed, why you ain't creating anything that's viable enough to get you out of the situation you say you want out of? So, no, I'm a, I've been around too many people who smoke weed or do other drugs that are not doing things that they want to do in their life. So that, that signifies to me, stay the heck away from the drugs. That's what it tells me. Stay away from drugs. It tells me to stay the freak away from drugs. Why do I want to stay away from drugs? Because I see people who abuse drugs that are not living the life or the version of life that they want. And you no, know, someone smoking weed, I tend to see people just lay back, their eyes cut low. Yo, if that's if that's the mentality you about to have, smoking anything, then you need to stop smoking, man. You ain't in no position to be lackadaisical. You ain't in no position to be sitting here tired at the peak of the day where you're supposed to have you, you, the most amount of energy? No, I don't agree. I don't agree. I don't think we should be doing any drugs, especially the down drugs, the shit that have you like, none of that Xanax, Percocet, muscle relaxer stuff, no marijuana. It's a whole community of people using those drugs. There's a whole community of people using drugs that are not doing good. 
to this criteria, not mine. But it's a plant from Earth. Then smoke it, then knock yourself out. All I do is look at a community of people that do certain things in particular, and then I see it doesn't work for the community as a whole, then I'd be like, I'm not touching it. That's me. You smoke the weed if you want. Someone asked me my opinion, and I gave you my honest opinion. I don't think we got any business doing drugs when we don't like our situation. Put that money towards something else. You smoking something recreationally. We don't have time for recreation if we're poor. If we don't have the lifestyle that we want to live in, if we don't live in the big houses where you can hear echoes whenever you talk loud, then you have no business doing drugs. Facts. Until you're content with your lifestyle, you don't need recreation. That's why I'm against baby showers. That's why I'm against birthday celebrations and holidays. Poor people indulge in these things with monies they don't have. Then they say, yo, when this next year come, I'm going to level up. I'm not going through another poor year. You're lying. Yo, I just got to get the holidays out the way, bro. And then I'm going to buy the course. And you got to get the holidays out the way. The course makes you money. Tell everybody, fall back. You'll get throughout the year when you level up. Now, I don't say that to people. I just be like, man, I don't like hearing this stuff. You say your life is in duress. You say you live in check to check. You saying you ain't got that much stuff, that much money saved. Then why the hell are you indulging in baby showers and weddings? And why, why, yo, it doesn't make sense. Why did you get married if you didn't have enough money? Why, why are you paying caterers and rings? The ring money ain't going to black people. The catering service and all this other stuff. The chairs and the table set up. Like, yo, you doing all of this just to have a day to show off so you could be poor for the rest of your life. Thank you. Say so you have no idea how much I need to hear this. <laughs> I told you it costs too much money to be poor. And I'm too smart to be broke. I'm too smart to be broke and it costs too much money to be poor. These are all facts, people. All facts. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Stop buying things that don't. It's not even don't appreciate. Stop buying things if you don't appreciate the lifestyle you're living in. You don't have time for it. If the little bit of time you take out to become wealthy, everything else would be cheaper. When you're wealthy, people start giving you stuff for free to wear to promote it. When, you, when you're wealthy, you don't have to spend as much interest to buy a house or to buy a car. You know, poor people want to buy houses. Wealthy people be renting out apartments. Unless the real estate looks real good. The real estate, if there's, a, if there's a real estate bubble or if there's a condition where it's like, look, the real estate over here, this is great. Okay, then you purchase. But when you purchase a house, you're really purchasing something in the pretense that you're going to turn it over to your children later on. So how you purchase in a house before you purchase a business? Like, I just never understood these things. And, you know, you got poor people telling me, yo, you know, you always you always in them luxury apartments and this, that and the third. Yeah, you say that. Right. But I held out until I got me the huge house. Till I got me a little mini mansion. I held out. You wanted the glory of saying you got a house and you couldn't afford the three hundred, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollar loan that they never gave you the money. But if you don't fulfill the debt obligation, you definitely will owe five hundred thousand dollars and you will never see that most of your life. They know this. And they loaned you the money knowing analytically that you was going to default. Mm -hmm. If you ask me why most conscious people are not united, the answer is because they most conscious people are broke. Generating or amassing wealth gives you a certain level of security. 
when people feel like you might be cutting into the amount of money that they could be making because you, your following might become their following and thus you deal with health and I deal with health. I can't afford that. And some people are so slow. I could be dealing with health. They could be dealing with mechanics and they still be thinking, well, someone's going to spend money with him on their health and then that's going to take away the rest of the money that they have left for the mechanics. There's no unity in the community because mm-hmm. the teachers are broke. At the end of the day, when people do videos and they're talking about other people, it's because they're broke and they're frustrated. You can't fake success. You can't. At one point or the other, someone's going to be able to say, I live around you. <laughs> My beautiful daughter. At some point or the other, somebody's going to say, I live down the block from that brother. He really lives in the projects. Those cars are not his. He just rinsed them out throughout the year. Well, I'm going to tell you this. You don't own your house. You're renting that shit. You could call it yours if you want. They could have gave you the, the wine and the flowers all you want and called you a homeowner. If you got a mortgage, you're renting your crib. See me? I waited till I could pay everything outright. I got no time to play games. I'm too smart to be broke. And it costs too much money to be poor. You hit up brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. Those of you that's in the course, look out for the PDF tonight. Study it. And we got an amazing streaming platform that you'll be able to view the previous classes. And the classes to come with this weekend. That's a promise. Peace to y'all. I'm going to check y'all. I'm going to go on um, Brother Polite. I'm going to go on Facebook.com forward slash Brother Polite in about five minutes. In five exact minutes from this time, I'll be on Facebook.com forward slash Brother Polite. You never got this from your parents. Real talk. It costs too much to be poor. What do I mean? Go to Facebook.com for 